Good afternoon, VC. Uh, Dave here, coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina, where it is snowing right now. Uh, a little bit, anyway. Um, we don't get it that much, so people here are losing their minds. Um, any case, let's get to some records. Um, and it's uh, also been good to see some uh, some of the guys back on uh, putting videos up. John Coltrane, 68. Um, Anthony, down in... Uh, Australia. So good to see those guys back. Um, I'm going to show a couple grails that I've been able to come across recently. Uh, the first, Ted Curson Pop Wine. Uh, this is the original French pressing um, on Futura. Stoked to have this one. Uh, amazing trumpet player. Next record, Eric Dolphy, Iron Man. Uh, this is one of my favorite Eric Dolphy records. Uh, this is an original pressing, uh, stereo pressing. Uh, this is on Douglas. Um, don't see this one pop up very much, but was happy to find that. Eric Dolphy, Iron Man. Uh, next record I actually just found today at my local shop. I'm real happy to find this. Uh, Bill Evans, uh, Explorations. Uh, it's the Bill Evans Trio. Um, 1961 um, was when this was recorded on Riverside. I believe this is the 82 OJC reissue, but it was a good price, so grab this. Um, Bill Evans Trio, amazing piano player. Check that out. Um, another grail, um, the Moore J. Fredrickson Quartet Quintet. Um, this is one of 500. Um, got this, uh, from Sweden, uh, where it was released. Um, uh, this is number, uh, 404 of 500. Um, 2015 reissue on Parlophone. Uh, I believe this originally put out in 1965. Um, he did not put out much uh had a short career um and also was able to find another one of his records uh from euclid uh here in the states um frederickson special uh this is also a wonderful record um definitely check this guy out if you haven't already uh next record is from a local band here in charlotte um, many of you may never heard of these guys, but it's a two-piece uh, avant-garde uh, group, uh, sax and drums. Uh, you got, this is the newest record from uh, Ghost Trees, uh, The New Gravity. Um, Brent Bagwell on tenor sax and Seth Nana on drums. Highly recommend these guys. Uh, check this out if you get a chance. I was able to find uh, this record, uh, Billy Harper, The Awakening. Uh, this is on Marge. This is an original. Um, this is this is awesome. Uh, anything Billy Harper puts out is fantastic. This is uh, the Terra Masuhino uh, Quintet. This is a live album. Uh, this is on Three Blind Mice, a uh, wonderful trumpet player uh, from Japan. Uh, I recommend any of his any of his early stuff. Uh, I'm not into the later stuff, but uh, the, this here, this is a really chill album. Um, highly recommended. Uh, next record, uh, Ornette Coleman. Crisis. This is a white label promo on Impulse. Um, this is a recommendation from Anders in Sweden. Um, this is a fantastic record. Uh, a lot of Ornette stuff is, uh, I don't know, um, if you're not into the free jazz, um, it can be difficult, but this, uh, I would say, was a, is a really good starting point. If you're going to get an Ornette Coleman, this is more accessible. Um, 
definitely check this album out. And, it, and it's you can get this album at a, at a really good price. Next record is uh, Bobby Hutcherson, Components. Um, wonderful vibes player. Uh, probably my favorite. I, I like him a lot more than Milt Jackson for some reason, but uh, uh, James Spaulding's on this, I believe, uh, who doesn't show up too much, uh, but was in the Blue Note stable at that time. Um, Herbie Hancock, Joe Chambers, Ron Carter, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet. This is, this is a fantastic record. I uh, love, love the cover art. Uh, next record I picked up, I was the last customer when I got out of work to get to Record Store Day this year. I uh, found this, um, Ahmad Jamal. Uh, this is uh, Free Flight on Impulse. Uh, this is live from the Montreux Jazz Festival. This is one of my favorite finds in a while. This is... a Really, really killer record. Um, highly recommend this if you can find it. Uh, also found this at the local shop recently. Um, can't believe I had missed it before on the shelf, but uh, Elvin Jones' Midnight Walk. Uh, to add to my Elvin Jones collection. This is a fantastic record. Uh, it's on uh, Atlantic. Uh, went to the uh, local uh, record convention that we had. Um, my favorite vendor from Atlanta wasn't there, so didn't find too much this year. Uh, did find uh, original press of uh, Youssef Latif, uh, Lost in Sound. Uh, great uh, record. Uh, love this. It's uh, more old school. And I found this record at the convention as well. Uh, double record on Riverside, uh, Thelonious Monk. Uh, two hours with Thelonious, the European concerts. Uh, this is, it's Thelonious, it's amazing. I uh, picked up a couple Lee Morgan records, one of my favorite trumpet players. Uh, Caramba on Blue Note. Um, got this from Carolina Soul up in Durham. They are the best. And they also sent me uh, Charisma as well. Uh, so this is some of the later uh, Blue Note uh, issues from Lee Morgan. This is great. And great covers. Uh, found this at the local shop as well. Uh, this is on Sound Aspects out of Germany, I believe. Uh, Robert... Previt Quintet, uh, Bump the Renaissance. Uh, this is really, really good. Uh, really progressive stuff. Love this album. Uh, uh, one of the online buys recently, um, Max Roach, Confirmation. Uh, great album. Um, they're doing Confirmation from Char Charlie Parker on side one and Giant Steps by John Coltrane. Uh, three songs on the back by Max. Um, this is Billy Harper and Cecil Bridgewater on this. Um, just like the uh, uh, Japan stuff, this is this is great. Uh, picked up a couple Woody Shaw records. Um, another great trumpet player. Uh, Love Dance. Uh, great, fantastic record. Uh, a lot of great players on this also. Um, yeah, Billy Harper's on this too. Um, this is, uh, 76, uh, put out on Muse. And also picked up, uh, Woody Shaw, The Moon Train. Uh, this one's, this one I like even more than Love Dance. This is, this is killer. Um. Also on Muse, 75. This record I found in the local shop for eight bucks. Uh, still stoked about it. Uh, McCoy Tyner, Sahara on Milestone. This is the most intense record I think uh, uh, we've ever heard. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Uh, side two, um, 
Sonny Fortune, I don't know if he takes a breath uh, for 20 minutes. Uh, just slaying it on the sacks. Um, this, this is the most intense thing I've ever heard. Uh, pick this up and sit back and just try not to have your mind blown. Um, been really enjoying the Facebook group lately. Um, Mike Weber, uh, Derek Higgins, um, many others on there. Great recommendations, uh, great support, showing great records all the time. Um, Derek's been doing a lot of videos like he normally does. Um, he brought up Omar Rodriguez Lopez from uh, the Mars Volta and at the drive-in recently and uh, got me into breaking out some of mine uh, that I have that I've been playing. Um, these are great, these are great records. Um, this is my favorite record cover ever. Uh, this is Omar Rodriguez Lopez Quintet, an apocalypse inside of an orange. Just check out that cover, that's amazing. Um, kind of jazz fusion. Uh, this is killer. Uh, pick this up whenever you can. And then uh, uh, my favorite of theirs, uh, Solar Gambling, uh, female vocalist, yeah, singing in Spanish, just amazing stuff. Another great cover. Um, this is probably a record I paid the most for of any that I have. This is not a cheap record. Um, I'm not sure why, but uh, I guess limited in quantity, maybe. Uh, but pick this up if you can. And uh, last but not least, I got a, uh, another record from uh, here. Let's see. The Five Corners Quintet. And this is really wonderful stuff. Um, the Devil Kicks in Three Corners. Um, just a 10-inch on Ricky Tick Records. Uh, this is great stuff, too. Um, highly recommend uh, if you can get anything from these guys. Uh, so that about does it for me today. Uh, sorry, I ripped through a bunch of records there real quick. But I uh, have a lot of them to put away. Uh, been meaning to get around to making this B-Core video that I've been talking about. Um, a label out of Barcelona, Spain that I have an absolute ton of great stuff uh, of um, that I need to get out there and recommend. I um, hope you guys are well. Um, see you next time.